Today, I'm going to talk about a powerful probiotic yeast called Saccharomyces boulardii. Please try to say that five times fast. I'll cover why it's so special that you would benefit from having it in your life. How to ferment it in juice to boost its effectiveness and how to keep your batches going. Why I picked S. Goulardi. There are many probiotic strains, mostly bacteria like Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium, but these often don't ferment well in juice or can be sensitive to oxygen and acidity. Some yeasts or mixed cultures like kombucha scoby or water kefir grains do ferment juice and are great, but have different effects. I chose S. boulardii because not only is it easy to ferment in juice, but it has proven clinical benefits for gut health. What is S. Boulardi. It's a probiotic yeast that can survive your harsh stomach acid, allowing it to reach the intestines alive and active. It doesn't stay there forever, however, because it dies. But somehow in its life and death cycle, it helps support good gut bacteria and helps with issues like diarrhea, leaky gut, SIBO, and antibiotic related gut disturbances. Which strain to use? The gold standard is this strain because it's currently backed by the most clinical research and proven benefits. I'll link exactly what I use for you guys to take the guesswork out in the description box below. However, if you wanna buy something different in capsule or powder form, just check for this strain to ensure you get the best results. Why ferment S. boulardii in juice? Fermentation increases the number of live yeast cells. So we're basically boosting the probiotic potency. It can also enhance the bioavailability and impact of the yeast in your gut, meaning your body can use it better once it's fermented. Plus, fermentation creates a mild, fizzy, tasty drink that's simply enjoyable to consume. Choosing the right juice. I use 100% pure juice without preservatives or additives to keep the yeast happy. I personally recommend brands like this. While I'm not endorsing them in any way, this is simply organic tart cherry juice without anything else in there. How to ferment S. boulardii in juice. You're gonna open a capsule or use powder, whatever form yours comes in, and you're gonna mix it into your juice of choice. Coconut water, apple juice, grape juice, whatever. I'm using a quart jar per capsule, but you could probably get away with even more juice per capsule. And in fact, you could just stick your capsule right in there and that's it. I like to leave a little bit of space at the top to avoid explosions, which I'll talk about in a second. Flip to mix, that's it. Now you're gonna leave this at room temperature for about 48 to 72 hours to ferment. If using a tightly fitting lid, be sure to burp the jar daily to release any built up gas just by taking the lid off like that and putting it back on because otherwise you're gonna get gases that are gonna build up in here. Trust me, this stuff gets super fizzy and it's gonna blow up your glass. If you don't wanna deal with this, however, just leave your lid on loosely. Or you could use a fermentation lid, but this is absolutely not necessary. How do you know it's working? Even with a loosely fitting lid, you're gonna start to notice some bubbles. With a tightly fitting lid, you're gonna notice a ton of bubbles. You're also gonna get a change in taste. This will become less sweet and more tart or sour in a good way. Ferment a little bit longer if the juice remains too sweet the yeast will continue to consume the sugar. Watch out, however, for fermenting too long because more alcohol will be produced. Making subsequent batches. To make your new batches, take some of the fermented juice and then add it to fresh juice. You don't have to start again with your capsule. So this is some juice I had already fermented, super bubbly. What I do is just add some to a jar and then add fresh juice. My fermented juice will now take over the fresh juice and ferment it. That is way too much fermented juice for this tiny quantity of juice I used here, however, but it's okay. It's probably just gonna ferment really quickly. There's no exact science to this. Just know that if you have a ton of juice, you probably need to use a little bit more of your fermented starter. If you want numbers, you could just go with a fourth cup of your fermented starter and then top the rest of the quart off with fresh juice. Now to minimize the number of capsules you have to buy, you can continue this method for like four to five times. But at some point the yeast culture is gonna weaken and then you're gonna need to restart with a new capsule. 
Cold and freezing storage. S. boulardii survives refrigeration well, which slows fermentation, but keeps the yeast viable. So once you ferment it to your liking, you're gonna stick your drink in the fridge. Avoid freezing your fermented juice, however. Unlike some other ferments, this yeast is not a fan of the freezer, meaning it's probably not gonna survive. How to use S. boulardii. This is the cool part. It does so many great things. If you have to start taking antibiotics, for example, which I hope you don't have to do, but if you do, start drinking this juice preventatively before to protect your gut microbiome as much as possible. And of course, always ask why and try to avoid antibiotics if possible, because they are massively overprescribed and wreak havoc on your gut. Continue during and after antibiotic use. Also, use preventatively if you're traveling. We've all been somewhere where we're super careful not to drink the water, yet we ate lettuce that had a few drops of water on it or whatever, and we got sick anyway. So drink this juice for a week prior, then your digestive system will be ready to fight whatever may come its way on that darn lettuce without all the discomfort. And then continue while traveling if possible. You can always just take the actual probiotic supplement with you if you can't figure out how to do the whole juice thing while you're traveling. And then just even use this daily to support gut conditions like leaky gut, SIBO, or general digestive issues. You don't even need a lot. Just a couple tablespoons per day will get those microbes into your system and they'll start working for you. This is a batch that I made with, I believe, blueberry juice, but then I added it to, no, it was pomegranate juice, but then I added it to coconut water to ferment the coconut water. So tasty and very low sugar at this point. You might as well drink a delicious fizzy drink with a ton of probiotic potency. Let me know all the cool varieties you make and how this improves your health. And remember to eat real food and drink good drinks. See you next time.